plasma membrane of the cell has PRRS. Here the PRR is a TLR. First of all, a PAMP present exterior to the cell binds to PRR. This binding activates NF kappa B pathway and MAPK signaling pathways. The NFKB pathway and MAPK signaling pathways induce the transcription and synthesis of pro IL-1 beta and pro IL-18. The NFKB pathway and MAPK signaling pathways also induce the transcription and synthesis of the NLR, NLRP3. The plasma membrane of the cell has transporter proteins. Various activators like ATP, particulates, ions present exterior to the cell pass through the channel of transporter protein and reach to the cytosol. The passing of various activators from the exterior of the cell to the cytosol through the channel of transporter protein is called as influx. After reaching the cytosol, various activators induce ROS or reactive oxygen species. ROS then induce a protein kinase called as NEK7. NEK7 then interacts with NLRP3. This binding triggers the assembly of NLRP3 with ASC and Procaspase 1. This assembly produces NLRP3 inflammasome. In the next step, inactive Procaspase 1 undergoes cleavage and forms active Caspase 1. Active Caspase 1 then catalyzes a biochemical reaction in which Pro IL 1 beta and Pro IL 18 are cleaved to form IL 1 beta and IL-18 respectively. IL-1 beta and IL-18 are known as mature cytokines. The IL-1 beta and IL-18 are not present in a cytosolic secretory vesicle. IL-1 beta and IL-18 are then released into the exterior of the cell. Active caspase 1 catalyzes another biochemical reaction in which gas dermin D is converted into N-terminal fragment of gas dermin D. This N-terminal fragment of gas dermin D induces the cell to undergo pyroptosis. Now some important points. Some inflammasomes are activated directly by binding bacterial components. IL-1 is one of the most potent inducers of inflammation. NLRP3 inflammasomes can be activated in cells by bacterial components like pore forming toxins that allow ion flux through the plasma membrane. NLRP3 inflammasome can be activated by non-microbial substances like several DAMPs released by damaged tissue and cells. The examples of these DAMPs are hyaluronan, beta amyloid, extracellular ATP, and glucose. NLRP3 inflammasome is expressed by monocytes, macrophages, neutrophils, dendritic cells, and some lymphocytes and epithelial cells. Three NLRS like NLRP1, NLRP3, NLRC4 form inflammasomes that activate caspase 1 to cleave the precursors of both IL-1 beta and IL-18. Please like, subscribe and share.